Hi, I'm Jeremy Wadawick from the Maps and Apps group. Uh, this is Jimmy, and we have Rachel right there, Maps and Apps as well. Um, so our initial problem basically was there's a lot of uh, geodata layers, map things basically um, that the city of Jackson has, but it's how do we get this out to the public and citizens to be able to interact with it uh, in an easy way. So you might be asking, why maps? What are, why are maps like cool for people to use? Well, um, text-based things are very hard to filter through and read. You look at a database, it's not fun to look at those things. But when you put that into a map application, that's an easy way to interact. People learn very visually, very quickly. So that's one of the biggest things with maps we see is people can learn a lot about certain things in a very quick manner. So um, our cool partner, Wade, has a bunch of things. He's right there. Um, he has a bunch of things that um, uh, he wanted to do. And so the first thing that we thought of was basically uh, Jackson School bus routes. We jumped on that right away. Basically, they had um, all PDFs um, for all their bus routes. So there was no visualization. So um, we created a method basically to transcribe that from PDF um, to a visualization on using Google Maps. And so this is just a prototype right here. And we have the actual one of the routes um, outside, too. You can see on the poster. Um, but basically, there's going to be a link set um, for, the, for each school. Uh, and they can ex external link it to um, Google Maps to be able to visualize this, see each route, the time when they come by. Um, and this will be updated basically year by year based on uh, route changes. So one of the things we found as we were working on that initial map application doing things with the school bus route was just the wealth of data uh, that Wade had at his fingertips that could be potentially faced publicly for people to be able to work with. So we were interested after we were done with the bus routes to come up with some kind of solution um, that would be relevant to a wider swath of the community, those that maybe didn't have students that were in the public school routes or the actual students themselves. Uh, and so what we settled on was creating a map application that would allow users uh, to dynamically view um, all of this data that Wade would be able to make face publicly. Um, using the ArcGIS Online API, it's something that the city is very capable of maintaining uh, when it actually does get developed. And so this is just one example. Um, the idea is that we have these things so people can kind of explore and discover things about the city they maybe didn't necessarily realize. Uh, this is an example of uh, different meterless parking. Uh, this, there's a lot of work that Wade has done to be able to compile all this data, and we thought it'd be nice to have it in one repository, along with things that might include where different community gardens are, or different parks. Um, so this is an example. This is just a wireframe mock-up of um, the site that's currently in development. Um, in addition to just being able to dynamically view those different um, layers, for the more intrepid user, we wanted to provide the functionality for them to actually be able to download the layers themselves. So if they wanted to create their own value-added maps, um, for instance, if you wanted to download where all the different parks are and different bike routes, you'd be able to synthesize those and maybe have a map that you could hand out to a group for a fun Saturday afternoon. Um, in addition to that, uh, we wanted to have some sort of feedback mechanism so that users and different people in the city um, could ask for additional layers that they might find interesting, um, be able to provide feedback if they saw some potential inaccuracies in the layers as they were presented, um, and be able to just kind of generally communicate with the GIS department, which up until this point has not had a lot of venues through which, or channels through which they could communicate directly with the public. So after this application is out of development, we really do encourage you to go and check it out and then be able to provide some feedback for our partner Wade. So we'd really like to thank Wade. Um, he made it really great for us to be able to learn a lot about GIS applications and also made a lot of data available for us and also to the rest of you and to the Jackson public and to our instructors. Thanks.